Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're answering the question, can your twin flame give up on your union? And therefore, if they give up on your union, you know, you can never ever be with them. It's completely within their power of choice to uh, separate themselves from you forever. Is that possible? Well, no, you, can, you can't actually ever give up on your union with your twin flame. That's not actually within uh, your ultimate power. And you want to like first like look at how the power of choice works uh, in your union with your twin flame and how twin flames are designed. How each twin flame union is designed. It's not different in any twin flame union. So I've done a little diagram here and I've realized like the wording is going to be backward. But that's cool. So like this is uh of your twin flame and this is you right and this is also you right you and your twin flame so this is the one uh consciousness or one mind or one soul uh blueprint that you share so as you know twin flames are not separate from each other you are your twin flame and your twin flame is you and you are created as uh, a couple, a twin flame couple, as one. You were created as two beings, right? So here is your soul. Here is your power of choice. So if you, as a, as a twin flame, uh, choose to uh, not give up on your union, that's a core choice that's being made here by the both of you, of you ultimately, right? So if your twin flame is saying, I give up, uh, I don't want to be with you, right? You can continue to choose your union and choose to be in alignment with yourself, right? And that's the higher, that's the higher choice, right? That's the choice that is in alignment with love. That's the choice that is always going to essentially win, right? Whoever has the choice in alignment with love has the more powerful choice. Because love is always more powerful than separation, right? So if you choose to not give up on your union and you choose to pursue all the way until your harmonious and family union, that's the core choice that you're making here, right? It might look like now physically if you're not with your twin flame that you guys are separate, but the truth is that you've never been separate from each other in truth, right? You're simply, you're still sharing one mind and one consciousness, even if you look like you're physically separate, right? The only reason that you're physically separate and not in union is because you're carrying fear in this one mind that you share. So as you heal uh, the fear that is uh, in your one mind, right, you are going to naturally live life in physical union with them, in alignment with uh, how you're created to live together, right? So you might be asking, uh, let me just clear this last bit up. Like, well, if my twin flame chooses for us to not be together, then that's the one choice that's being made here, right? And I don't have power over that choice. Well, that's, that's not true. Remember I said, whoever has the choice that's in alignment with love, that's the choice that always wins because love is forever more pow powerful than the belief in separation. Love is more powerful than ego. Love will over, always overcome and dissolve a fearful uh, choice or a fearful belief, right? And you can know in your heart that you, you, this is all you, you only ever desire what is of love in truth. You only ever desire love in truth, right? So... By continuing to pursue and choose your union and to never give up on yourself, even if you are, your twin flame says that they don't want to be in union with you, you know that that is the belief that you're carrying that's out of alignment with love, right? And they're just reflecting that, that fear that's still within you, right? So choose, choose love and you will, you will always, that choice of love will always overcome you know the fear that's still in your consciousness 
right? Your twin flame is only ever mirroring to you uh, what's out of alignment with love, but it's never what they truly desire. You only ever desire what is in alignment with love. Now that was a lot of spiritual gibberish. <laughs> I hope some of that made sense. Anyway, I'm learning. That's cool. It's, a, it's kind of like you're having a, this conflict thing pull between you and your twin flame with yourself, right? Until you're always choosing love at your core. So if your twin flame's like pulling you in the other direction saying, no, I don't want to be with you, right? And you're pulling back and committing to a union and pursuing it. Um, as you continue to heal the blocks that your twin flame's mirroring you, hear the fear that your twin flame's mirroring you, that resistance from them is going to like lessen and there won't, be a, there won't be that push and pull anymore. You'll live in harmony as one as you were created. I think that makes a bit more sense. Just know like also by the power of choice, if there has been a choice in fear, choice of fear that is in your consciousness that you guys have chosen, your choice can always be reversed. In any moment where you've identified there's a choice that's in alignment with fear or ego, you can make a new choice that is in alignment with love and continue to choose that and that will and that choice will become the center of your reality. And then the fearful choice will dissolve completely and forever. Right. So the purpose of Twin Flame Union right, is to choose back in alignment with love. So that push and pull is happening so that you can see where you're still holding on to uh, separation. And so that you can heal that so that only love becomes your way of living. Right? There's, no, there's no more push and pull. It just becomes a, a, you know, a harmonious relationship where you're both in alignment with love so I just want to give you like a life example of how this happened with my twin flame of fun so my twin flame of fun's at work right now but basically after we came into our harmonious twin flame union we got given this opportunity uh, to do some finance finance work for uh, some companies and some like light accounting work, right? And I knew in my heart, because uh, we are one here, I identified that this is what we desire and that we're being called in that direction for a reason. I knew that God was saying, say yes to this opportunity. This is your next step in your union. This is where you need to walk forward. So, I chose that and I committed to that opportunity in my heart. And ultimately, like, the accounting work was to be done, not by me, but by my twin flame. And uh, so I essentially made a choice for the both of us to walk forward in that direction. And upon walking forth in that direction, we faced a lot of blocks and a lot of resistance. I got a lot of resistance from Rafan. Right? He was there with me and he was showing up, but he was putting up a fight. He was really saying, like, you know, I don't want to do this. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like I feel uncomfortable. Uh, I don't feel safe. I'm scared. So my twin flame was basically putting up a lot of resistance to this uh, accounting role, which I knew was the next step it was just that feeling and annoying in my heart right so as I continued to heal all of the resistance that my twin flame was showing me uh, when we took on this accounting role uh, he began to relax and feel more comfortable in this role he began to relax into it he began to receive from it and he began to give himself to it right and that was my twin flame's resistance, that was ultimately my resistance that I had. Even though I had chosen this accounting role for the both of us and I knew that this was for us, there was still resistance that I had within myself to going all in on it and feeling comfortable in it. And my twin flame was mirroring to that, that fear that I was still holding on to as I was walking forth into this role. 
So as I cleared that, that fear that my twin flame was mirroring to me, we both began to relax and feel more comfortable in this accounting role and we began to learn what we needed to learn, to heal what we needed to heal and the role naturally um, you know, uncovered itself and we're a lot more grounded into uh, that position now. So you can see from that experience, like my twin flame consciousness is my consciousness. My twin flame will mirror any fear that I still have within myself. But if I choose to commit to myself, even if there's still fear, my twin flame is going to be there with me no matter what. As long as you commit to love, your twin flame will show up. They're also going to show you resistance you have. But that's for you to heal within yourself. Their resistance is your own resistance. Right? It's a really beautiful relationship. It might be a lot to wrap your, to wrap your heart around uh, if this is all very new to you. Uh, but ultimately, your twin flame is you. And you always have the power to choose for the both of you. Because they are you. There's no separation. When you choose an alignment with love and your twin flame uh, puts up resistance to that, you're not, con you're not controlling them right? by choosing something in alignment with love for the both of you. Right? Because you both desire the same thing. So it's important if you recognize, this is what I desire. I know my twin flame desires this too. You can say yes to that and you can heal any resistance that comes up along the way. Right? Because you're just releasing the resistance that you have uh, to that, that choice that you've made for the both of you. So thanks for listening, guys. I hope you got a bit of, bit of a better insight as to how, you know, Twin Flame Unions actually uh, work in regards to the power of choice. Can your Twin Flame uh, choose to abandon the relationship completely? Uh, choose to give up on your union? Well, that's up to you. What do you choose? Right? Because your twin flame isn't separate from you. They are you. Choose to remain on the path of your union. Choose to never give up on yourself. And you will achieve harmonious union with your twin flame. With yourself. It's all within your own power of choice. Right? So thanks for listening. My name is Carmel. I am an ascension coach for Twin Flames Universe. And I guide people into harmonious twin flame union with their twin flame. I've achieved that gift of... Uh, in my own life and now I invite people into uh, that gift themselves. Uh, so I'll link my coaching services below and I also do Twin Flame readings as well. So yes, bless your union and have a lovely day. Bye now.